ladies and gentlemen, this is a part of the Thor of Thor News loses his mind a few days before his seven year anniversary because I've been saying I would do this for seven years and we are almost here. And so on my anniversary, which is on the 23rd, either something great's going to happen and I'm going to be nervous or nothing's going to happen. I'm going to be disappointed. But you know what? From the year 2016 all the way up till now, I've mastered disappointment. So uh, I'm probably survive either way. But if you would like to send me a letter, my address will be in the information box. Or if you just want to send me a planetary defense commander bonus, the PayPal link will be there as well, along with the Cash App, Patron, whatever. And now we will talk about Planet Nine, which may have already been found. Study suggests it's a mythical planet which involves a lot of debates about Pluto and Kuiper Belt objects. One of the first things I did, well, that was really, really cool at Thor News, was I took all the Kuiper Belt objects we knew at the time, and then in Adobe Premiere, using the, what is that called, opacity tool, I made a chart, I should have shown it, I don't have it with me now, that showed all the planets together, and showed where Planet Nine would probably be, Thanks to the work of Scott Shepard. And, oh my God, I forgot the other guy. I'm so sorry. Not Scott Shepard. Anywho, and then like a month or two later, Mike Brown, aka Pluto Killer, did the same thing. Scott Shepard, Chad Trujillo. Thank you to them and their wives. So that was cool, right? Anyway, let's talk about the latest update. Since its launch in April 2018, NASA's Transiting Exoplanet Survey Satellite, TESS, has found a number of exoplanets, including a so-called missing link and an exoplanet with three suns. Whoa. But a new study suggests that the $200 million satellite may have also discovered the mysterious Planet Nine. Well, that's fascinating. I mean, considering it's a part of our solar system, correct? That would be good to know about. And might answer some questions we have. But technically, it's 2019, man. We have a lot of questions. As Thor of Thor News, who has done what I can to bring you the honest truth and the hard facts, I cannot verify whether the Earth is round or flat. Now, hold on a second. If I had to guess, I'd guess that it's round. Everything is so freaking weird. We haven't replaced the Hubble since 1995. So that would be like you using your cell phone from 1995. And if you tried to do that, that would mean it was still connected to the wall. You know what I'm talking about? Capiche? Or the fact that we had the kick-ass space shuttle. And then they're like, yeah, no, we're just getting rid of it. We're going to have rockets. We're going to make sure that everything we have goes one way. Oh, yeah, we're going to Mars. But on one-way ships, we're going to the moon, but on one-way ships, we're going up into orbit, but we're never coming back down. And so it's all weird, and people like to blame NASA, but there are a lot of space agencies in the world, man. And just like central banks who depreciate their currency in a ballet of liquidity, the space agencies seem to be working under the same agreements for some strange reason. But you know what? In a war into oil and deception economy you don't always get the truth which is what makes me thor of thor news special and i never try to give you some political bullshit like oh my god this one political party is great or this political politician is fantastic he's gonna change everything this time it's different because i've been around the block man and we don't have jetpacks the research published in research Notes of ass notes that Tess is able to take multiple images of the same spot in space. Wow. Imagine that. Technology has finally invented a camera that could take a picture of the same spot over and over again. I wish I had a girlfriend then I could put that camera to use. What does that mean? Potentially locating trans-Neptunian objects that means any type of object that comes into Neptune's orbit. These are also known as TNOs, like Thor News orgasms. I couldn't think of another word, forgive me. 
since TESS is able to detect objects at approximately 5 pixel displacement, Planet 9 has an expected magnitude of 9 v alligator mouth V alligator mouth 24 nerd math. The possibilities raised that TESS could discover it. Okay, so yeah, and my theory has been that Mike Brown, Chad Trujillo, Scott Shepard, and their talented crew of people who got stranded on a boat with the volleyball, well, that joke went nowhere. They know where it is. They're just not, they can't tell the public yet. Um, is it affecting us? Yeah, probably. But who knows, man? Maybe space is just like a big curtain, and when you draw it back, it's big theater lights. Mercury goes straight tomorrow. Wait, yeah, it was gay before that, or maybe just bye? No, it was retrograde. I'm trying to be funny. I'm forcing it. That never works. Evidence from Mysterious Planet 9 continues to mount. Why does astronomy always have to be so sexual? It could be solar system's missing link. Kind of like your face. What Tess is doing is staring at regions in the sky for months at a time. The study's lead author, Harvard University astrophysicist Matt Holman, said in an interview with Fox News, it's looking for exoplanets, and you can find those by looking at the paths of the host stars. While it's doing that, it's collecting images one at a time, and it can look for objects in our solar system. Maybe one day they'll invent telescopes that are just like our iPhones that can take 60 frames a second. Or even 24, or how about two? Holman added, the main thing I don't think people realized before is if you have a small telescope like Tess, you can combine images and find faint objects. I don't even know what he said. But he used words and he's a scientist, so we should take his word as bond. Oh, did I not even frame right? Ay caramba, hackers have screw up, screwed up my process. Alas, Tess is in space, so it does not have to deal with the Earth's atmosphere getting in the way of its four cameras. Holman pointed out, it's a stable platform, unlike YouTube. Our masters are not nice, nor are they fair. The researchers tested the idea that TNOs could be found using predicted motion, adding in it expected values of distance and orbit motion. They use software with three known TNOs, Sedna, 2015 BP Earthwatch 519, and 2015 Bowel Movement 518, and found that it should work on any object with a near infrared magnitude of approximately 21. And remember, the electromagnetic spectrum, which contains the light that we see, also contains light we don't see. So there are things within our solar system that the human eye cannot detect. Actually, there's probably lots of things in our solar system the human eye cannot detect. It's kind of like Oprah's infrared light that shows you how nasty your couch is. According to Psi Phi Wire, Planet 9 could have a near-infrared magnitude between 19 and 24 making it possible that Tess may have already observed it. Booty. Holman noted that Tess already looked at the entire Southern Hemisphere, making the chances nearly 100% that Planet 9 has already been observed. If it's in part of the sky, if it's in the Northern Hemisphere, we're not just there yet. We're not there just yet, he added. Tess, which launched in April of 2018, replaced the Kepler telescope, which started to malfunction towards the latter part of last year and was eventually retired in October 28. Seriously, cry some tears because we haven't been replacing many telescopes. James Webb Space Telescope, what am I talking about? After discovering more than 2,600 exoplanets, including 18 Earth-sized exoplanets, who may or may not be sending signals to us, and invading our planet to frequency causing humans to be at war with each other all the time. Which would explain the clusterfuck shit show that our society is right now. What was I talking about? In September 2018, Tess found its first exoplanet. Seven months later, in 2019, it found its first Earth-sized planet. And is maybe Planet Nine's a black hole? We'll have to discuss that later. Evidence of Planet Nine? 
The hypothetical planet that has been described as the solar system's missing link, Planet 9, also known as Planet X. It's weird. If I could edit these videos, I could show you the guy from NASA saying, hey, we're searching for Planet X. I'm like, what? Wait. Has been part of the lexicon for several years. <clears throat> First mentioned in 2014, it was brought up again in 2016 when Caltech astrophysicist Mike Brown and Konstantin Batygin first wrote about it. <clears throat> they get all the credit, though. Once again, Chad Trujillo and Scott Shepard have done an astronomical amount of work. In October 2017, Batygin said that there are five different lines of observational evidence that point to the existence of Planet Nine, but the government won't let us tell people. I, I threw that in there for dramatic effect. The five lines of evidence are <clears throat> six known objects in the Kuiper Belt, are all of which have elliptical orbits that point in the same direction. The orbits of the objects are tilted the same way, 30 degree downward. Ooh, sounds like a sexy yoga pose. Hey baby, do the 30 degree downward. Computer simulations that show there are more objects tilted with restricted to shoulder plane. I should show that thing that Cranky sent me. Planet 9 can be responsible for the tilt of the planets in our solar system. Yeah, hold on a second. When Cr Cranky sent me a, a gift. That's right, the Crankster sent me a nerd gift. Because I'm the king of the nerds, the dorks, and the geeks. Is it lined up? Man. Yeah, so... You know how... Some of these planets have different orbital rotations. Whoops. I hit the wrong button. Man, this went off the rails. And so, it would be like if, you know, Planet 9 is kind of on the Earth, Neptune, Saturn orbit. Or Mars, I guess it's technically it's 30% on that side. What was I talking about? Oh, Planet 9. Here we go. <clears throat> planet 9 could be responsible for the tilt of the planets in our solar system. The plane of the planet's orbit is tilted about 6 degrees compared to the sun's equator. Some objects from the Kuiper Belt orbit in the opposite direction from everything else. Wait, take a breath. <sighs> Some objects from the Kuiper Belt orbit in the opposite direction from everything else in the solar system. That's interesting too, right? No other model can explain the weirdness of these high inclination orbits. Bettigan said at the time, it turns out that Planet Nine provides a natural avenue for their generation. These things have been twisted out of the solar system plane with help from Planet Nine and then scattered inward by Neptune. In October 2017, NASA released a statement saying that Planet Nine might be 20 times further than the Sun than Neptune is, going so far as to say it is now harder to imagine our solar system without a Planet Nine than with one. Some researchers have suggested the mysterious planet may be hiding behind Neptune. Up your butt, Joe Boo. And it may take up to a thousand years before it's actually found. Yeah, maybe if we use 1995 telescopes. Did I even say that word correctly? 1995. Two studies published in March 2019 offered support of its existence. However, a separate study published in September 2019 suggested that the theoretical object may not be a giant planet hiding behind Neptune, but rather a primordial black hole that popped out of Earth when Pangaea split apart and then zoomed thousands of AUs away. That yeah, sounds wacky. A study published in January 2019 suggested that some of the far farthest <laughs> celestial bodies in our planetary system aren't being impacted by this yet-to-be-discovered planet, but rather another mysterious object deep in the echoes of space. So, this mystery only deepens. Have we already found it, but not yet found out that we've found it? Stay tuned! The Planet 9, Planet 10, Planet X, Nibiru, Herculubus, do, do, do the Herculubus. It's the dance phrase that's catching the nation by surprise. Maybe this is for all the weird weather. Maybe Planet 9 is on the way. Yeah, I'm worried about it. The only thing I'm really worried about is humans. We need to get our shit together. I love you. God bless everyone. And stay cool. Um, and, and, Man, like with the Mercury about to go direct, 
Anyone who thinks about me too hard, I can hear you. So I'm curled up in a little ball. Happy. Because there are a lot of attractive women thinking about me for some reason. It's a weird, it's a 2019 is a roller coaster. A weird romantic roller coaster. Well, hopefully the romance is coming in the last six weeks. You only got six weeks left to prepare for the next century, people. The next decade. So get it in gear. Asteroid Fight Club forever. God bless everyone.